morning, you guys. <laughs> Just going to wake up here. <laughs> this is Ginger. And, uh... Guess what? We're going to be doing acrylic painting today, in case you were just stumbling on this channel, had no clue. We're going to be painting a John pick, and he's going to have, uh, John is going to have picked out the painting he thought would be fun, kind of Thursday's a surprise acrylic day, so we'll all be surprised, <laughs> we don't know, but we'll hope it'd be something fun. And we've got some exciting news to tell you about our auction, so stay tuned. Ginger Cook, the queen of color, with a blazing brush at the speed of light, and a blank canvas, and a hearty yes and yes. The queen of color, Ginger Cook, and her sidekick, John Little, teach you to paint with acrylics. Ginger, it's another Thursday, it's another John's pick, and you never know if it's going to be another tractor. So, if I understand, I've got a choice of a red or a dark kind of... I couldn't really decide. I, I looked at the paint, you know, the, the photo I picked, and I go, either one of these could be used depending upon how bright you want to do the subject. All right, well, I just want people to know, these are real canvases, and he and could have picked any one of these, even anything. So, just, <laughs> that's interesting, this is what... This is what our choices are, you guys. So that's why I gave you today. Now, before I unveil, veil, unveil, unveil this uh, unveil John's it. pick, just keep in mind that whoever's watching and joins us on our live show and enters the link when the, when it gets put up, you have a chance to win this painting. Our peacock from from Monday has already been mailed out. Believe it or not, how fast it went. So that's kind of exciting, but someone's going to be winning that tonight. We also wanted to take a moment to um, share with you a couple of things that, you know, John goes to our P.O. box on Mondays. No, that'd be Wednesday. On Wednesdays, sorry, on <laughs> Wednesdays. And so yesterday he went to the P.O. box, and we got this lovely note. Look at this little heart card, right? And it says, uh, uh, just, um, it says, we love your show, and... Juanita wanted to do something special for you. She cannot uh, read or write much. She has special needs. She always watches with me. She crocheted this blanket for you. Juanita wanted me to, 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 wanted to throw by herself, especially for you. She loves your show as I do. Love from um, Trish and Juanita. So you guys, yeah, I've got it. Before we get the paint out, look at this. Look at this gorgeous. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let somebody back up here. John's backing up. Look at this gorgeous blanket crocheted mm. throw that Juanita made for us. It's in all the colors. It's certainly the artist colors, aren't they, with the rainbow? Oh, it's great colors. Uh, it's great well, colors. Well done. I mean, it's Oh, it's so, it's so soft. You guys, look, 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 see? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> so, Juanita, thank you so much. This is beautiful, unexpected. And, of course, gifties are always welcome. And uh, we love it. And uh, we want to thank you so much for that. So that was a... And um, now we will we will admit uh, during the summer when it's 105 degrees we'll probably use this in the winter. But it's beautiful. It is beautiful. And we'll be sitting on my chair waiting for winter to arrive. There you go. So thank you so much for that. I wanted to we show do appreciate that. I want to show that. Now the interesting thing is that took what two weeks to get from Tennessee to us. Yeah, that took two weeks from the mail. But uh, you know we just don't understand the mail anymore. And then this nifty. Um, this is an insert that goes into a, what an Instapot? Yeah, it goes into Instapot. And it's a. This came from Jennifer Chase as a birthday. John's birthday is next August on the fifteenth, but she sent it early, and it's a double kind of broiler thing here. You can cook doubly things in here. Just can you guys can see that? Yeah, you can cook two things at once. Cook two, two things, things at once. And I mean, this is really nice. Look at that with a steamer and all that stuff. So uh, we just. How shine? Who doesn't like shiny bright things? So, <laughs> gosh, Jennifer, you went outdid yourself with this. Great. And that turn. that is one I've always wanted. Never got that one. I have other pots that go in my instant pot, but I've always yeah, wanted that so one. You always wanted that one, and um, look, oh. even Ginger can figure out how to. I was going to say that I'm impressed. <laughs> I wasn't sure you're going to be so, able to get that back. Yeah, I got it back, right? So yay, woohoo, yay us! And so anyway. We'll put our notes. So thank you for the gifties. Do Thanks appreciate that. Oh, look at that. Another gift came in from uh, Miss Brooke doing the super chat. Thank you guys for sticking with us here. 
We would do it no other way. So, and much. then I wanted to show you guys these. these. This was a gift from Ginger to herself. <laughs> now, the interesting thing is, when we ordered these, we were thinking they were coming from Japan. Yeah, they, this took like almost two months to get to us. They came from the, the UK, the, though. They came from England, and what they are is they're... Um, I might open them later in the show. These, are, depending on what you pick for me, these are Posca pens with a brush tip and, um, and a nice set of colors, silver and, and gold and um, red, black, uh, blue, and white. So I just thought those were kind of... I didn't know there was such an animal as out there, but anyway, I got them. We'll let you know if we like them. So, all right, we all can't... We can't wait, right? We need to know, yes? What you've picked. All right, you guys, drum roll, please. I'm ready. Huh? Oh, a pretty Ooh, that's flower. pretty flower. Wow, look at that. I, I love these colors. This is definitely that Holbein Illuminous <laughs> Rose color, isn't it, right there? As soon as I pulled color? out, I go, well, I know what paint we're going to be using, adding to our collection. So I'm looking at that, and, and those were good choices, the red and the black. I think that the the dark color, this purpley black color, is probably going to give me the most contrast. Well, I'm thinking that, but then as soon as you lay but it in I there... But then I could have used a green, too. Green and red are complements. Now, let's just think about this for a minute, you guys, because oh. green or red are complements. So um, we've got be... some pretty greens here. Just imagine this color next to the greens. Yeah, I thought that would be a little too light, though. Well, but this, this is... Believe it or not, if you did a black and white of this, this is fairly dark. The, the, these reds are dark. They're at dark value. So this would be uh, too blue. This is like Goldilocks and the Three Bears, isn't it? <laughs> this is a little bright. Um, this well, so, those are some fantastic backgrounds. Uh, John makes these backgrounds. So this is not, I like this pale green in here. So far, I'm kind of liking this green. Um, I'm for sure not the blue green. No. Well, I don't know. You know. Why don't we do both? Let's do a black and a green and see which one we like better. Then you won't have to, you guys. What do you think? Should we do both? <laughs> Give away two of them? Oh, great. Here we go. A double day. All right. I, sh I, I wouldn't want to do pink because it wouldn't show up, yeah? So, um, all right. So, we'll keep this fairly simple. We have some stuff. We were really excited about our auction, which is starting tomorrow. And we're going to be putting paintings in it. We have uh, over three days. Well, that's good that we're going to be putting paintings in our auction, seeing how that's what we do. Yes. But I think that's good. It's good, good to clarify bubbly, that. I can count on you for the smart stuff, right? I'm, I'm just confirming that's what we're doing. Yeah, okay, so that's fine. So don't, don't, don't need to get snippy with me. We got it, right? Um, and and uh, we did a... Um, uh, I thought it would be nice. We never did this on the auction site before, but I thought rather than just some written words, it might be nice... To have a um, what um, a, uh, a, a a video comment for me, yeah. So we're gonna um, show you that later in the show because you would think that would be very easy, wouldn't you? It's a, little, it's like a minute and a half spot, just a, a quick a little spot. spot, and 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 you know an hour and a half later we were still making it. So we're gonna show you the actual one. But hang in there because the outtakes from it are hysterical. Okay. Well, in our opinion, they could bring a smile to your face. So we'll probably do that in one of the breaks. And I wanted to show you that. And um, we've got a, a little bit of a show and tell with um, with our uh, some of our students too. We've we've had some you know people who've been with our Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting. Some people I say, well, it's an academy. It sounds like I have to go to school. And I'm kind of sorry I named it that, but it's a little late now to change it. <laughs> but I'm really sorry I did, because it does sound like some sort of full school. Well, if I ever had time, I'd go to school. It really isn't a school. It's self-paced learning, okay, for sure. And it's really, um, it uh, starts with very basic beginner lessons. And we encourage people who join the academy to try and do our back-to-basic lessons just to make sure that you do the acrylics the way I do because all the other tutorials are based on those blending techniques. And if those are not ones you've learned, regardless of how many years you've been doing acrylics, you may find yourself struggling with some of the tutorials, okay? That wouldn't normally phase you. You're going, how did she do that? I don't understand how she did that. 
And how Ginger did that was uh, by using these techniques. And when acrylics first came out, we'll see how did I do with this. Not bad. I can make that work. Yeah. Yeah, I so. can make that work, yeah. When a fir acrylics first came out, uh, no, uh, they were they were used like watercolors. People used them like watercolors that just didn't run, okay? So the, all the books and everything. So I was about 17 when they first came out, and I wanted an oil painting effect with them. And uh, many of the techniques I have developed over the years are the direct result of my um, way that I discovered how to make acrylics seem more like oil paints. And, and in fact, where you can't tell, tell one it's not an oil painting and the texture and stuff. And so some of these blending techniques that, that, that I show and uh, the way we, we, we layer and glaze and so forth are very unique to me. And I would have to say my daughter Cinnamon, who watched me do it and develop those also, uh, knows them. You know, if you don't don't realize that Cinnamon uh, Cooney, uh, the art chirp, is my daughter. Some some of you know that, and others of you don't. And um, uh, and whoever you know. So anyway, that's um. Let's see how did I do with this. Well, that's that came in even happier than I thought, didn't it? Yes and yes. Yes and yes. All right, so we got a couple. Um, got a couple of, of flowers here. Um, okay, so John, I've got a couple now. Now I'll just uh, you know put out some paints, and uh, we can be talking about stuff. I think it's fun when we're doing a couple of things, because that uh, did did I have a, I have a gray piece of paper here. I can kind of here's a purple, purple one too. Let's just do something like that so that we we can put on there. Now I'm curious, um, I'll be very curious to see which one I like better. But here's the thing, keep this in mind. Some of you start out, you have a big canvas, you got it on sale, you think, I know, I'll paint something big. But you didn't paint it little first, so now you gotta change it. And it it's a lot more trouble and harder to change something uh, big than it is little. So my encouragement to you is to start with an eight by 10, you know, nine by 12 max on a size canvas. Paint it first. Get, get, work out all the bugs, and then make it bigger. You know, that's tip number one today, so just, just keep that in mind, right? That's, I highly recommend that, because you'll just save yourself a lot of grief if you do that. All right, let's use up the last of the titanium white in this little thing here. Come over here. Um, John, uh, um, can you tell us any more about the puzzle project or the auction project? Uh, the auction, the website's still being worked on, but registration has be, been open. You do want to register if you want to participate. Um, if you participated in our live auction previously, that is still in there. We did not have a problem, but do verify that you can log in, just to make sure that still works properly for you. Um, we have a couple test pieces up there, and if you want to bid on what they are priced at, I'm not going to stop you. They are a little high. We, we, we did, yeah, yeah, come on, you guys. We, we haven't priced it yet. We just had to test it to make sure we could load it. So yeah, ignore we, the prices the unless process. you want to make sure. If you if anybody bids on one of those prices that are on there right now, we'll give it to you at that price. Absolutely. Well, if you're the first one to bid on that and you want to just lock it in and say, that's it, I'll pay that much money, and it's mine, and we, we, we won't stop now. you. By golly, you know, we're... You can have a buy it now, right now, yep. okay? I, I just want to be all right. So this we're going to have uh, close to like forty pieces up there this time, though. Yeah, really nice. A, a big range from from uh, you know, of course, the big the the Fourth of July beat sheen is going to be one. The twenty four by uh, twelve by twenty four. The um, uh, let's see the um, here's some uh, quadricone magenta. Okay. Uh, th those are all going to be up there. Um. Here's some nice, uh, this is called Luminous Lemon. These are all Holbein paints. This is Luminous Lemon, which is kind of pretty. What else you got here? I'm just kind of playing with these today. I'm going to just play, because I want some bright, you can tell I want something pretty bright. Wow, that's just going to be in your face, isn't it, right? <laughs> what can we do? That's all right. We'll just, we're going to start from there. We're gonna, 
One of the things I like to do is uh, when I'm painting something like this is to just start with white paint and um, paint the um, petals in. Okay? So, um, uh, if you're doing any kind of reds, it, they really are only happy when they're painted over white. Does that make sense? Barbara's in studio says, please tell Ginger thanks. I'm For not what? sure. I'm not sure. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> you must have done something good. Is the Barack puzzle project finished yet? No. Are we still missing? We're still missing people. Yeah, huh? missing about four, and we are going to round Let's them up and get it done this week. We just, we just kind of, you know, it's hard to, to stay focused when we have people that just um, that don't do it. You know, they well, commit you know, and, and they then, don't you know, do it. And, and you know. Quit walking your dog if you have a puzzle. I mean, that's happened twice now. We had two people that... that oh, can you read that comment, John? Because that was so funny why I'm painting this uh, in. You sent to that to me in uh, notes, right? Yes. you got to hear this comment. This was, uh, this was so funny. Uh, you got to guys hear, hear this while I'm painting this in. Because it's hysterical. Now, wait a minute. That's not the dog. Nope. That was Beth. It was the one. That was was it one from Beth? I'm just watching yeah, your Beth video Mulligan? now. Yeah. This is from Beth Mulligan, one of our uh, Academy members. Make sure you're lined up, okay? She put this comment on YouTube, so we don't mind giving her name because she gave it. So yeah, I so, mean, so there, right? It's, it's public. It's, it's public. public, right? We're not we're not telling stories out of school. How's that? Right there, you go. I'm just watching your video now of the peacock and just wanted to share a story. Frances Langford, the old movie star, had a home in Jensen, Florida, Jensen Beach, Florida, named Eden Rock, and she had peacocks running loose all around it. I had a cottage on the Indian River right down the road from her property and would love to hear them do their crazy squawks they, make, they would make, especially at night when things were quiet, and I would be sitting on the deck hearing their echoes. I got brave one day and went over to her house to visit the birds and through it all was able to become a caretaker of the birds while she was away, which was often. She would sail on her yacht, the Chinclair, as some 90-foot sailboat. Anyways, thanks for bringing up such happy memories as you said. Oh, oh my, John. Just as you said, you got an email from someone about the puzzle she was walking her dog and broke her arm. That happened to me as well. For the first puzzle, walking my seven-pound Yorkie, his lead got caught in my walker, and walker tumbled, and I broke my wrist. Dog walking is dangerous for us. Frail bones, old times, hey? And now I'm getting ready for surgery on the 31st. So uh, much luck with that. So if you're walking your dog and doing a puzzle, please don't. Yeah, Tell the dog until the puzzle's done, no walking. You know, yes. and um, thank you, I thank you, think, Beth, for sharing that. That was cute. But I thought that was a fun story. I mean, you know, I mean, this, this, obviously, this story where she got the job, you know, taking care of that lady's peacocks happened, you know, years and years ago. Yeah. But it's a great, but it's a great That's story, kind of cool, isn't though. it? I think so. Oh, Bar think. Barbara was selling, say, saying thank you for the pack you did today. Oh, you're so welcome. I guess we don't know you by Zen Studio. Well, sometimes I know you, but sometimes <laughs> I don't. How's that? I have. <laughs> I think that's fair enough. I I think we can go with that. Sometimes I do, and sometimes I don't. I have moments of association. You know, it's uh, you know you've got to associate. You have you associate certain people with them, um, certain places or certain things, right? Right. So if I'm seeing somebody on Facebook, or I certainly associate you all with your paintings. Once I see the painting, I'm much more likely to associate you with the painting than I am the other. But this is um, you see why we're doing the um the I'm painting the white here. Oh, yeah, I and see you're painting white. You can see that. You know. Yeah, I can see that. And why are we painting white? Well, because if you want red, you want red, you want a nice white surface. And I like the I like the backgrounds at this. Don't you guys like the backgrounds on this? This is uh, this is nice. Now, if you want the traceables, will be where John? Because this is what you know. I just traced that photo on, but this will be available in our beginner acrylic academy. Um, probably we'll get Charlie Johnson to put it up tomorrow. And um, 
Yeah, the Peacock one finally got up there. That was my, my fault. We were so busy. I had, him, I had my boy doing other projects. And, and then uh, I guess it was one of, the, one of the moderators said to me, when's the Peacock going to go up? I, th I think that was uh, Becky said that. I go, it's up there. And I go, uh, and then I contacted Charlie. And I said, do you put that Peacock up? He goes, what Peacock? I go, oh. Yeah, it's never Charlie. It's never Charlie's fault. Charlie does whatever Charlie No, he does him. He does it right on the spot. And, I mean, he's, he does great work, but i got to give it to him. Yeah, you do have to give it to him. I just That's got wrapped up with the auction. I was Charlie. working on the auction and the puzzle. I got overwhelmed. You overwhelmed. That, that's my excuse. Well, it's easy to get overwhelmed because we, re we released, and I, had, I forgot to bring it off the wall. We released a new uh, video today for um, our this week. Um, I think it was Tuesday we released it, the... Um, those beautiful uh, flowers that, that was part of a, a larger Monet painting that got released. Oh, I, yeah, I'm going to go grab that because I like that that was, a, that was a neat picture. We certainly, you know. And that one got uh, released. We released that, right, which I and love. The Wave and Water well, was supposed to be released. And I'm going to show. I well, didn't verify written, that yet. It, it's going, that's, I guess that we are releasing that tomorrow, Wave and Water. I like that. I like to commit, John. Then, then I say it, then he, you know. But, I mean, this is a guy that stays up, you guys, till 3 every morning answering emails and um, taking care of things. And um, we, we got to tell you that, you know, just about when he thinks he's done, I come up with six new ideas. <laughs> and you know what we could do? For instance, I came up with this idea for the auction for a game. I thought, yes, we're going to have over 40 pieces in our auction for, for, you know, that you can bid on and win the bids on. But... Let, let's I'm, do something else. I, I said, what if we, I, just, I, I had this th great idea, what if we had a little contest and there would be four additional paintings you could win in a drawing setting. Uh, we'll have four of them and we're going to have a contest and we're, it's going to be kind of a search thing like we've done before where you have to search for certain words and then if you get all the words right, then you're going to get into a uh, another drawing where we will then, out of that group that gets all the words right, uh, uh, then we you, we'll draw for four of three six by eight, uh, four three four six by eight paintings, which I thought was kind of neat. So that that's that, and we're going to tell you more about that contest on um, Monday show. Monday. So even we encourage you to go, even if you're not buying anything, uh, you still want to own an original Ginger Cook um, painting. We've made a way for you to do that also. And you don't, even if you have never caught one of our shows live. Ooh, caught it. Uh, you still would have that opportunity. So a lot of times people work or they, they can't get to one of these live shows to enter. Now, are we giving away any of the uh, Holbein paint today, John? We are doing the Holbein paint today. So that's the other thing you could be winning today, too. All right, so you can see where this is. Um, uh, we've got that, these flowers are a little bit shaped differently, but that's... Um, well, I don't think anybody's going to really notice. No, I'm not. No, I'm just saying that you don't, it doesn't have to be exact, right? But, you know, in general, and I want to do something on this one. I'm going to want some green. I'm going to want some green leaves here somewhere. Um, so I'm going to put some light, light in here, too. I like this one, this kind of green one coming down here like that, this. This green leaf like that, and maybe the one, the one like this, and like that, and uh, something like that. So I kind of like, I like the way that looks. Let me just bring this up a little bit. Okay. So uh, and I can, I don't have to do it on this one because it's green, so I can put a green over it and it'll work. Does that make sense? So I don't have to, I don't have to, uh, to put that in white on the green one. All right. So I want to dry these. But before I do, I'm going to show you this. These are the two. This was the release. I'm going to back out on this, John. Uh, this, yeah, one second, please. And okay. Um, for those of you who are not aware of it, these are, are in our academy. We have very large paintings. Many of them are very large tutorials, some several hours long. And this is a, a basket of flowers originally inspired by Monet. And he had a very large painting, which we cropped and redesigned for this. And uh, this, uh, you know, spring flowers in a basket. That's a, in our video lesson library. Um, really cool. And we, we got a little, the quarantine kind of caused a, a delay on some of our um, wave and water. So we're now, we will now be caught up with this one. This is our girl with the boat. 
yeah, well, um, again, it's one of our old dead artists. Um, I can see if that was released, because that was supposed to be released, and I may have been the one that was supposed to be releasing it. So, it, it, you know, we, we'll have it released for tomorrow. That's fine. It'll yeah. be released for tomorrow. But I love this one. Um, I think it's timeless. It could be anybody's kid at any time, and it, I thought it was pretty. And again, from, you know, original design was 1800s. So that's our Wave and Water, a master class release. And we'll all be all caught up and wait till you see the new stuff we've got coming. Because we're caught up really far. All right, John, I want John, John, can you show him the auction introduction? Because I need a little time to drive these. Well, uh, let's see. Um, I, I can. One moment, please, as I, I, as I queue it up. John's going to queue it up. Because I tell you what, you can hang in it through the end because John shows you the way we first. The, the final version, the final cut after like an hour or so, right? This is our final cut. We show you that first, um, and then stay, hang in there for the rest of it because it's very fun, okay? All right, guys, enjoy this, and we'll be back after this. Number 50. Hi, this is Ginger Cook, and I'd like to welcome you to my auction site. Several times a year, original paintings that I've created either for YouTube or my Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting are offered for sale the highest bidder. These are below wholesale prices at the, with the starting bids. Each thumbnail has uh, can be enlarged because some paintings are maybe as small as six by eight, others larger, but there are verticals and horizontals that can only be viewed when you click on the thumbnail to get the full picture, and we encourage you to do so. The sold paintings come with a certificate of authenticity, and there's a copy of what that looks like on the site, and that's signed by me, guaranteeing you have an authentic Ginger Cook original acrylic painting. One of the features of our auction site is a automatic bidding system and there's more information about how that works on the site but it's for your convenience and I think you're really gonna like it. The cautionary tale here is be sure to register first so that you can participate in the bidding. And finally we want to thank you for taking the time to look at these paintings. I encourage you to find something you really would love to have in your home or give us a gift and be part of our, the legacy of Ginger Cook, our tugs, from John and I. Ooh, she did it in 50, people. Look at her go. Did I say everything? Yep. Thank you did. Was that okay? I think so. 20 second spot only takes 30 minutes. Right here. <sighs> One of the features that is offered on our website for, and let's try again. <laughs> <laughs> Besides a certificate of authenticity on the paintings, which is really the best feature. <laughs> yes, that alone. <laughs> I did. I said click on the thumbnail. Okay, then, you're, then, we'll then I said, I said, there's <laughs> Another great feature of our auction site is the robotic eviction. Um, start again. <laughs> <laughs> you think I drank, wouldn't you? <laughs> All right, sorry. <laughs> All right, here we go. Another great feature. You want to go from the robot again? Yeah, just. <laughs> One of the great features, one of the great features of our auction site is our robotic. <laughs> our robotic what? Oh yes. Is the robot the option of let me try? <laughs> Bidding okay, that's better because I can't say robot apparently. I and bidding at the same robot, time. Let's go for the automatic um, To bid, register to bid. Okay, let me start again. All right. Okay, I don't know how I can't. So <laughs> <Just close. laughs> Almost had it. God, they couldn't afford to have me make a movie be there with a fire. <laughs> 
For, oh, we could never afford this. We could afford oh. this. All right, the, the budget bid for you, and then being able to walk away and not worry that someone has outbid you. Well, that's still good, but... <laughs> Buy a quarter. Don't worry about that. <laughs> we're having a hard, hard hugs from John and Ginger. Uh, let's try that again. <laughs> no hard hugs here, people. You're on your own. We had hard hugs before. <laughs> okay. And so you see, the queen comes with things for me to do, and it only takes five minutes to edit something like that. I yes. hope you enjoyed that. It was just, I look at that again, it still makes me smile. Oh, okay. So if we brought a smile to your face with our crazy outtakes of how we try to do stuff, and this really is cold, really cold sober I do this, you know. Just we, we certainly hope you did find a little bit of humor at our expense. It's all right. It's, we we certainly hope so. That's and, what uh, we're here for. I was going to put out. I got sort uh. of. I got kind of caught up in all that, but um. Uh. Yeah, did I put out a luminous lemon? I think I did. I thought you did. And then Isn't it that top guy? Yeah, and here's a yellow light, which is always fun too. And then yeah, that was uh, luminous lemon. I have two of those. We need to put one back in the box. Oh, you're not supposed to have two out at one time. No, just to get, get confused. And that, I want to thank Andrew for these paints again. Thank you, Andrew, again. Thank you, Andrew, again. Yeah, yes and yes. You're my hero. And this was, these are all the Hallmine set. This is um, Marigold, except for this was Matisse um, Magenta. But, you know, any Magenta would work, right? Uh, so that's Marigold over there. So I, I don't know. Let's see what we can do with this. I haven't put out the green yet for that. I, I want to play with it a little bit. We talked about... Um, uh, glazing medium and we've tried that before the thing is that you've got to have mad patience for glazing mediums because you dry and glaze and dry and glaze right yeah it's a so, long process we did a video on that we, we, and we, so I, is... as much as I want to kind of glaze I think probably what I would do is just add a little glazing medium to my magenta right and see about just painting in some of the colors so I get a little bit smoother here do you see that you can see how it's going over the over the white like that and it's, um, so instead of water, I'm just putting a little bit of that on my brush for now, just because I want this sort of, that that's the lightest I'm going to get that probably here from the, um, uh, doing it this way. Ideally speaking, you would, you, you, your best bet is to, um, uh, your best, very best bet is to, do do the glazing of uh, very very thin and dry and do you know like six you know five or six coats so you know that that's your best bet and you know and nice if we all had the time to do that but you know we'd spend a lot of time on the hair dryer and we've already kind of wowed you with our auction thing but I know you're gonna <laughs> all want to go see what we did in the auction you won't be able to help yourselves right you just want I think I want a red too this let's let's play with some different colors. It's going to add a whole line deep red. See what that one does. Um, somebody said, where do you get Holbein paint? Um, uh, both Dick Blick and um, uh, both Dick Blick and uh, Cheap Joe's sell it. We have been told check your prices when you're buying paint. Um, generally speaking, Holbein is not Probably Amazon is not the best place, in my opinion, to buy this particular brand of paint. Uh, it's, it's a great place for um, Salvador paints, but probably not, not this one. And um, ooh, that's pretty. Put a well, little like yellow that in that. I put a little bit of that yellow. Hey, we'd like to thank Alan for the donation. It came in through the super chat. Yeah. Just for the laughs, we, we need them so much to beget the worst of times. Thank you, and thank you. Thank you very much, Alan. And listen, I want to. We have a, an academy member who's been with us for 
years and always donates. And uh, because of COVID, um, he lost his job and, and his in income. And he had, sadly, he had to drop out of the academy. But thanks to, uh, you know, some of the donations that came in last um, Monday, John was able to reinstate him. Have you told him that yet? No, but you just did. I, I have not seen him on the show as of yet. So we, but you know, um, that's very nice. And also, over the past um, over the past weeks, we have had um, several breakdowns in our computers. Oh God. Um, it hasn't been a good week. Uh, you know, it turned out. You know, time passes when you're having fun, doesn't it? Have you noticed that? Time really passes when you're having fun. And um, one of the things we noticed was that. Um, uh, our um, computers were a lot older than we thought, you know, because it seems like we're always buying them, you know, doesn't it? It seems like we're always buying them to you, yes and yes? Yeah. So it was a shock to find out that, you know, computers that we thought we could just send into Apple for the warranty uh, were no longer covered, you know, and um, it wasn't going to be worth the expense of, um, of painting them or of, um, of fixing them. So, uh, but again, um, I want to thank you guys that um, have been helping us out along the way because you're not only helping us keep our own lights on in this time of uh, COVID, but you know you've you know helped us to do a few of these things too. And our auction is going to finish that. You know, help uh, you know put us back in the in the in the black after having to buy. How many computers did you have to buy, John? Uh, well, we're getting away with one right now. The other one's going to go in for a repair. That's going to be a couple hundred dollars. I can get that one fixed. But the big iMac, which we thought, I thought it was only three, three years old, old at most, but it happens to be uh, close to seven. Yeah. I mean, so I don't know just, where that time went, but we've enjoyed it. I don't know where it. the time went. You know, I don't feel any older. I'm sure you guys don't, right? Candy would like to thank you for their donation from her little super chat with the little guy laughing. <laughs> which is appropriate. All right, so you can see I've got some pretty bright colors on there, just in a range of using these in glazing medium. I want to see glazing medium and a bit of yellow here and see what I could get. I'm just sort of curious to see if I want to get something kind of... You can. It's amazing what you can kind of... You can get some pretty colors. Just And you, and you, you really just get that effect over white. So I'm going to leave that one alone. And uh, come back over here and play with this one. That can be drawn. Yeah, because that can be sitting there happily doing its thing. Yes? Now, the auction that's coming up, that is not one of our marathon auctions. We'll be doing that later. I don't remember when it's supposed to be. Yeah, sometime later. All right, I'm going to just take the glazing medium and yellow. But we will be doing another one of those. Those are fun. And I'm just going to give everybody a yellow tint. Okay? Just like that. I'm just going to come on over here and I'm going to tint everything yellow. Catherine says she's in the hospital. Love the laugh. Thank you for the joy. Oh, I'm glad. I, I don't know why. It, um, you got to admire the people that can sit there and um, just, just, well, I mean, I do this. I'm pretty good. I can sit here and talk on a show and explain everything, but I try to do something like that and just... Um, but, you know, nothing is thinking anymore. It's just, you know, I'm so busy trying to think about what I want to say that uh, I, I don't say anything. It's really weird. All right, so here's this um, this yellow bit right here like that. And I don't want it too thick. But so I've done a little yellow, and I want a little bit of this uh, Holbein. Uh, this is the, the orange. I just want to play with this a little bit here. And You'll just, be happy to know that we have just released uh, some masks or face coverings. With oh, can you cooks. show those, John? I got one up there right now. I have Taz up on the screen. Okay, They'll yeah. They'll be coming up and over th shortly. These are them. dye, you guys. This is important. This is an acrylic paint. You know, uh, you know, uh, this, these are actual dyes, and John's going to show you some of those while um, I Let's dry these, okay? Well, are you going to dry those now? Yeah, can you show some masks? Well, no, no, I can show the other stuff, though, instead, because I, I only have the one mask over here. Okay. Hold, hold on a second. I've got to find my... Where I put her? Wait, don't. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> okay. Jordan. Hold on. Okay. Who did the who, who did the book? Mary. Mary. All right. So we're going to do a book of Mary. 
All right, now keep in mind she's been, Mary is in her, uh, she's five, look, look, she's five years older than me. We won't say ages here, but she's five years older than me. And she, when she did this painting, this is one of our most difficult tutorials on our website. She's been with us for a number of years. Her painting skills have gotten to the point where um, she not only did this, she sent this in for packs several times. And every time she, uh, you know, I had some suggestions. We showed the first one she sent in. And I, you know, t you know, and then the second one, which was, would, most people would have been happy with that. But we went back once again and sent her special videos on how to do marble. And I want you to see that because she used her own birth date in the newspaper. And then the letter on her painting is the, a letter that her mother wrote to her dad that she had been born. Because she was born during the war. So here, World War II. So here you go. All right, you're muted. All right, so this is... Uh... Painting number one that Mary sent in for a pack, and then Ginger, oh, I got it both up there at the same time. They're backwards up there. Okay, then painting number two, they're just subtle changes, but you can see them, mainly in the tabletop, a little bit of the shading. And then she, Ginger did a video to show her how to do the marble, and look at the, this is her final, and she really nailed it here at the end. Absolutely a stunning job on that. Beautifully done. So, job well done, Mary. Now we have, oh shoot. So, hold on a sec. Hey boss, who did, who did Taz? What? Who did Taz? Yeah. Did I send you Taz? Yeah, Taz. The before and after, the Chinese eyes, and then got the eyes straightened out. Oh, you're not, it's not Taz, it's, uh, it's Tank. Tank, that's who I said. I don't know, but it's great, isn't it? <laughs> oh, no, that was the sh Shally. Sally? The Shally. The Shally. The Shally. Okay. Okay, that's um, Tank. Uh, the one on the left is the first attempt and then the second one is the new and improved version you can see the shading and the eyes got fixed and the eyes are the most important when it comes to animal mules yeah and we're back to the queen my back is the sound on i i even turned the sound back on my queen well so here's the thing you guys <coughs> sometimes you can be a you know vishal is a really wonderful artist and does some great stuff but if you could imagine the, you know having somebody else look at your artwork and say you know this is really great if you just change this one thing, it would be awesome. That's priceless. Just saying. All right. So, so currently, we've only got five masks up there. But as I was going through Ginger's <coughs> paintings, a lot of her paintings really translate into some beautiful masks. So we'll be adding a lot more, seeing how this seems to be the new fashion statement. Yeah, new fashion statement. So that's what we're all going to be all going to be focused on right now, right? Yep. So let's see, I'm going to just leave that to sit. This is the that's been sitting. Cool. So thank you, let's, artists, for letting us share. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we, we thank you very much. And, uh, you know, I just, you know, I get, when I see this and the progress that people made, I get so proud of everybody. I can't express that enough. I get, it just makes me so happy when I see the progress that people are making and really great joy. And uh, sometimes I, I give people a shout out on Facebook, but usually uh, you guys don't let me, you send it in for pack, ask me what I think, and you know it's great, so then you put it on Facebook first, and I would have given you a shout out, but, um, you, but so you, beat, you, you, you beat me to it, which is okay. Um, I understand it. When I finish a painting, I have about four or five people I call. I get all excited. Look what I just painted. Isn't this fun, right? So I understand this need to share. It's nice, and so if you're not a member of our Facebook club, shame um, on you. Join, you know, it's a nice place to be able to, to, um, it's a safe place to share your artwork. People always say nice things, but they won't say anything, right? If anybody says anything mean, they're just gone, right? They can go say something mean on someone else's site. We don't allow it. My daughter doesn't allow that on her site either. Um, you know, um, it's just one of those things. Where, um, let's see. 
So anyway, we just think, and we do a lot of fun announcements in Facebook uh, that you might not um, know. And and um, uh, our moderators are right on the spot. It's just Facebook really is less about me and more about our moderators, who are the first ones to um, to share with you, you know, histories of some of the uh, old dead artists that are around. And uh, well, they're not around anymore, but. Um, well, it depends what you believe, but uh, technically they're not around. But, you know, they'll tell you some of the history. If I've been painting some artwork of some old dead artists, then they're, they're, um, they're right there to share those, uh, th those stories about those artists with you. And uh, Judy's always telling you what's on sale. Liz and Judy like to do history. Um, uh, you, you know, uh, you want to know who's putting your paintings up at uh, 2 in the morning. That could be any one of them. And... The nice thing about our the, the gals that are our moderators, they're good friends, and all of them, they're good friends, um, and they share with each other. They, they, you know, it's it's you can tell they work together and they work to make the club one. Of, I think it's probably one of the most outstanding clubs in in. Um, in social media. In, in social media, I think so. Uh, bec and, and it's only, and not because of anything I'm doing, but because of them. Um, really, it, it, it's amazing what they, what they do. Yes. So They, they, they do it, it all. They do it all, right? I'm having fun with all the pinks here. Do you like all my pinks? So tonight we're using Holbein heavy body paints mm -hmm. instead of our normal Salvador because she's the queen wanted really bright cherry colors. Even though the Salvadors do it, they don't have that luminous pigments like uh, she gets from the uh, Holbein paints. Yeah, well, I've just, you know, every once in a while you need that Pepto-Bismol looking pink. And um, it's just a little bit harder to get with um, some other colors. But you can see, I mean, these are practically glowing in the dark, right? Yeah. Like Radioactive. What was that song? Radioactive. Something, wasn't it? Uh, we're not a singing club, I'm sorry. It's true, we're not. Now, every time we try to bring that up, you always shoot me down. We're not a singing we, we could be a poet club. Yeah, we've been thinking on that. We're, we're not bad with poetry, but probably um, uh, singing is not, uh, not our forte. Not really in the cards. So you can see. And how'd you create that orange? Uh, that was just the, the these the, these luminous oranges and pinks. All all these colors are kind of mixed together. You got to experiment a little bit and you know see what stuff does because it's fun. See, I mean, look at that. You know, you wanna. That's a, that's a luminous colors. I mean, they I mean they're not kidding when they say it's luminous. When they say this is a luminous or, you know, color, they 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 speak the truth, friends. Uh, is Ginger going to use the Posca brush pens? I think I might. I, I will. Um, at least I'll try it with a couple of them. Do you I want to see what they're. I want to see what they're like. Don't you guys? Why don't you I mean, give me one? Uh, give me yeah, a maybe John can start them for me while I'm, I'm doing sure this. Because be he has to start them. Because you have to shake them for a while. You know. Activate them. Uh, act activate them. Yes and yes. So, um, you know, and, and we're, we're happy to, you know, do that. Um, yeah, yeah, we're happy to do that. Here, John, do it. Yes, it's a, yes, yes, I got, got it. it, right? Yep. Anyway, you know, Andrew was so kind, sent us these paints, appreciate it very much. And uh, I had a few left, but um, they were running out. We, yeah, we were getting low on them. Getting low on them, and this was um, too kind, and we most appreciate it. What are the differences, Kelly would like to know, between Holbein and Golden? Well, it's lot. interesting. Holbein is a paint that's been, a paint company in that's in Japan, and it's got a wonderful reputation. And um, their their pigments, if I would say to me, is that um, my daughter once told me that the people that own uh, Golden paints uh, had greatly admired the Holbein people. Because they, they, you know, the qualities there, they've been, it's, it's just, they're, they're nice. I'm not, 90% of the time, um, I'm using, uh, on, on the show, I, I've discovered the Salvador paints, and I'm happy with those. 
every once in a while I just want my, and I'll get out a few of these colors, I want my colors to rock, and that's how I'm getting that to happen. And uh, so that there, you, you use less, it's easy to over mix the, um, it's easy to over mix them. And the reason that is, is because, um, is it easy to because over mix the, Holbein? Yeah, because the pigment's so strong. That I, you know, I need a lot less pigment um, to mix um, uh, some of these others. You know, I mean the whole bind that you know I need more pigment to mix like um, the golden. So I tend to, I sometimes I tend to over. Um, I have a tendency to over. Um, I didn't want to do that. To over mix them. You know what I mean? Put too much color in, and then I have to start again because that they're. They're very, they're very because pigmented. they're very, very sensitive to what you put in them. You know, I mean, how much pigment you put in. They're very, very high pigmented paint. I, I get this out eventually. It's very high pigmented paints, right? Yeah, do be aware, as Jazz says, that the luminous colors, they're not light fast. That means they will fade with time, but they're going to say the color. They're just going to become a pink instead of a, a cherry pink. Yeah, but for a while, they're good, you know? Hey, it looks like Andrew's in the house. Hope you're all well. Andrew, we are well. Yeah, we're, we're well. Thank you. Um, so, I mean, I like the way this is coming out. I'm going to let that one sit and do the next one. So this is, that one had the um, the, the yellow, and this one's going to have the, um, I just wanted to see if it was any difference if we painted it over yellow, what kind of what kind of effect we oh, get. Oh, these things are nice. Uh-oh, he's John's having, we've lost John in the Oh. Uh, in the way layer. You can do the, really, really fine lines. You can do it's just like a brush. Oh, well, you guys I ought think, to see these. Well, I'm, we're all anxious to see them. I'm going to use the white one in a minute. To Are you put okay? Put in the stems on this other one. I'm I just activated. using a little of the glazing medium and some luminous rose here. It is interesting how they work, though. And in, in what sense, John? You 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 have to. There's a little. It's it's a it's a uh, button in the back to push the ink out. For the paint out. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I, that I could see myself just sitting around yelling at them, going, "There's no paint. There's no paint. Why don't these go right?" So good to know that, right, John? Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I, you would be yelling, and screaming at this thing. Why isn't it working? Yeah, because I've got about five seconds to read the directions. And why I, does acrylic white only come in titanium and mixing? I've seen other colors. Well, of course, you can get um, antique white. Yeah. And um, there's a buff white and a buff titanium. Mm -hmm. There are other whites, not as many as oils. But oils have, you know, like uh, oils have a lot more white. But um, than 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 uh, acrylics. Uh, in fact, for the longest time, uh, Matisse wasn't making a um, a zinc white. But of course, some people call. And then there's um, Liquitex makes something called a. Um, Mixing white, which is very much like zinc white, sort of zinc white and titanium. And then we have found that the Holbein white is very similar to, it is, doesn't have as much opacity in it yet. They're, I think they're working on that because we suggested their titanium is really, for us, more like zinc white. For what we're used, what we're used to is the zinc white. So yeah, theirs is very much like zinc white, transparent white. Okay. So you can see that the yellow, when you do that with a little bit of, glazing medium that the yellow kind of gives it an interesting glow, doesn't it? You see it's a slightly different effect. Do you see that? I mean it is slightly different. So uh, depending on what your underpainting is in your layers of glaze glazing, let's see where this is. Um, um, now when you look at this painting here with the with the red and the, the dark background and you look at this one already and you see you get a totally different effect, don't you, by just changing your background color. Uh, we I was talking go. to one of our students today and she had done a beautiful job on the um, painting of a, another YouTube painting. We had some purple flowers in a vase, but her background was so close to the color of the flowers it didn't have as much impact as I think she would have preferred. Okay, And the reason it didn't was because um, uh, uh, the reason it didn't was because her everything was too much the same value. Okay, so um, we got to get out. Yeah, we got these Posca brushes on our, in Amazon. Just be aware that they're not 
they're not here locally in the states. No. Like I said, the arts came from the UK. So they took it quite a while. So if you think you want them, like for a holiday project, I'd order today. All right, I want this sort of this green color. That's pretty. That came out nice, yeah. Yeah, now that was the Holbein green, a little yellow, and a little tiny bit of pink in there to to um to make it more of an olive green. Do you see that? What a little is bit of glazing medium in that. Just just a little bit of that. Um, do you have those uh, paints handy? I'm I, gonna, I'm I have dry, the... I need to dry this. Do you have any more pictures you can show? I, I do. All right, so I'm going to dry this while you show some pictures. And Wait. Then hand... <laughs> How many hands do you think I got over here? Two. Okay, go ahead. Okay, while she's doing that, let me find um, what I'm supposed to be showing you now. Who we got left? Oh, um, Jennifer... Thumbnail, which one's thumbnail? Gotta turn off the puppy dog. Alright, here we go. Uh, Jennifer Chase, she's the one that originally gave us this painting. Uh, this is an old ODG guy, one of the old dead artists. And we did a lesson on it, and she finally got a chance to finish it up. And this is her painting after I think Ginger and Jennifer went back and forth, oh, I think like six times. On um, packs going back and forth on this one. A job well done. And then we have one from Yoshi. If we can get Yoshi's up here before the queen gets back. This is before pack and after pack. Before pack would be again on the left, and after pack is on the right. And notice how Yoshi added a lot more contrast and more color and gave it real feel. Well, she did that with glazing. All with glazing? All that was done was glazing, John. That's Am I on? Of course you're on, my queen. You're sure, but Seeker's on, because sometimes we have to check these things. Yes, Yoshi did that all with glazing. Just the Beautiful same painting. Job. All she did was glaze over, which is the same stuff we're using today, the glazing medium and color, and that's how she popped those colors. Now, From somebody painting, asked, why do we use satin versus glossies? Um, that's a good question, um, and here's why. Um, because the glossy will make a shiny spot in your painting. Now, if you're going to gloss your entire painting, that's fine. But and and so with a uh, final the satin, the satin is um, more forgiving. Is, is is more to me is more workable for the whole painting. And then you can still gloss over it at the end. Let me show you how these work, my queen. Okay, he's going to show. Which color you want? I want white. You want white? Okay. Put this over here. Yeah. All right. So your tip is here. Yeah. Yeah. Look how far you can go. Okay. Yeah. Now to get more ink out of it, take that off and you push that button. Okay. All right. So we're good right here. Everybody's so good. So this means you can lose two caps at once. I can lose two caps. Oh, there's a cap at the end, too. Okay. So, um, all right. So. You might want to play on something before you actually use it so you can see no, how. No, I don't want to do that. Of course That's not. Why, why would you do that? Only I would do that. Well, you just played with them. So why do I need to? <laughs> to get a feel for them. Silly me. So, ladies, beautiful job on all paintings. We didn't have any guides today. Where's my guys out there? Well, uh... Have nobody, none of them been sending anything in? Uh, not as much. What's Michael been up to? He He's, well, stuff he painted there. something really good, and we think, you know, we, it was the thing, and we gave him a shout-out on Facebook. Oh. So we, we, we give a... We give, Michael gets probably more shout-outs than most everybody, but we did give him a lot of shout-outs. Andrew gets them once in a while. And Andrew gets them, too. You know, and then Eric gets them. Yep. Eric will get them because he's, you know, and he often just gets mentioned. Eric, Eric gets mentioned on our show because of the, um, all right. You see, that's kind of nice. I have to say, I love these. <laughs> they're really a neat feeling. That they're really nice, and um, these are nice, and they're very. They go opacity on them, or how much paint's coming out. That's lovely, right? Wow. Could be a whole new way to paint something. That's really nice. Okay, so I'm going to put the lid back on that one, and I'll put the lid back on this one. Uh, let's try the red one. Hmm? 
All right, you, you kind of want to see the red one, don't you? Oh, sure. Whoopsie. They even oh. have silver. So we have silver, silver, black, blue, red. It's interesting red, isn't it? Just sort of fun to see it. Here's a red over something kind of lighter right here. Uh, this is rather nice. You know, maybe just a little lead, yet red lead for shade. I mean, I'm telling you, this is very nice, John. I just, that's what I said. Well, I mean, you know, I don't know if it's necessary, but it's entertaining. Come on, you guys, right? Yeah? We were listening to people who were here. We were listening to people who sent things in for that we could share. This is a, what is this, a water lily? I'm not sure, I don't know. Whatever it is, it's pretty. I think it was a water lily. Got a, got a, um, These are Posca pins. They're called Posca brush pins. Brush pins. So, I mean, you guys, you know, you inquiring minds wanted to know, yeah? We did. So look, look at how fine a line I can get with these. Just bare, less pressure. Look at that, you guys. Just like a real brush. Like a real brush. Oh, this is delightful. <laughs> I got to tell you, that's delightful. I just, I would want all the colors, though. You know, personally. But, you know, it's just me, right? So, um, I'll put the little cap back on there. Now, you put both caps on, did you? Both caps. And make sure it that. snaps. Because I know if these babies dry out, that's going to be totally worthless. Yeah, well, anything that dries out would be pretty worthless, right? No, I can recover some things. All I right, bet let's see what the gold too, one does. You ready? I'm, I'm kind of curious. I think I'd, I would do the gold one last. It's a tip on these, because these I have to color anyway in here. I'm just curious, right? Here's a, we'll just see if they, if they glaze over, too. Here's a little gold tip on them. We'll see. Okay. Now remember the uh, secret word that you're using tonight for the, to enter the drawing is also the coupon code for 20% off on our merchandise, Clever drawing. mask and all that other stuff, and that is valid through the month of July. All right, so we'll keep uh, painting with these right now, and um, I'll just finish these little flowers up, but this is, come on, this is kind of fun, yeah? That's a pretty color. It's a very light blue. It's pretty blue. Yeah, this is nice. All right, so we'll just we'll just keep we'll just keep painting with our little happy colors here. Yes and yes, and uh, I just wanted to see what the what the glazing would be on these. So you know what it would be like if we, um, you know, that this is your next layer of paint. People, you guys got to do layers. I mean, there's just no question about it. It's important to do paint, paint your paintings in layers. Um, all so, about layers. You know, it's ju it just it, it never hurts it at all, and it um, it will serve you well. How's that? So I'll just put this one in. Um, and again, this is a very soft, soft painting. So the colors are a little lighter, not making them quite as bold. Um, hey, we would like to thank Clarice for the donation that came in through PayPal. Thanks for the Billy laughs. Keep the lights on with this. That thank we will you do. Thank you very much. We appreciate it very much. This is very nice. And we've also got another one from Andrew. Uh, for help with the new computers, tough times, but have to move forward. You are a gem. Oh, thank you very much, Andrew. That's very nice. And enjoying these Holbein paints, too. It's so funny. There's a company that um, um, the Cinnamon uses, a paint, paint brand company. And um, she said, they're going to send you some paints. And I think I waited four or five months for them to finally send me something. They did send something. She says, have you used them on the show yet? And I just, I haven't. I, mean, I have to show them to you. I, 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 want, I like to do that, and I appreciate that. But I have not. And, and they were just some, they ended up being some different colors than I normally paint with, which is not a problem either, because it's always good to expand. But... Um, yeah, but we have right. to we have to take a look at those. But I have to I have to I, you know I, I I hate to do that stuff blind until I've had a chance to. Um, Especially when they're the colors you don't use normally. Yeah, and I have to I really have to because I gave her a list of colors and the here's the thing you guys um, these paint manufacturers are um, finding that um, the um, 
their supply chains are down too. The stuff that they need to make the paint and people have gone home and gotten sick and um, all that stuff. So what we're running into as artists is that we're going to see um, even after things open back up, it's going to take a while to get some of our art supplies are just not going to be as readily available as you're used to in the past. Um, and so uh, one of the things you cannot afford to ever afford to run out of is like titanium white. Oh, absolutely. And um, so um, just put them thank over you. Here. Yeah. So I would I would strongly suggest you guys everybody take an inventory of what you've got. You can get by. Here, here's a, here. I'll give you a list of colors that you have to have to make it go. Okay, you've got to have titanium white, or you're dead in the water. You really need cad yellow medium, or you're dead in the water as far as creating something. Right? Um, those would be the two. Thalo blue or cyan blue are good. And then if you had those colors and black, you probably could do some stuff. Right? But those are your basics. But then after that, you would want. Um, I would say one of the things that we, you would want a very good cad red medium and not try to, you know, try not to run out of that. And um, the, the other color I would say that would, would be very important would be, um, you can, Dosney purple would be one you wouldn't want to run out of. Magenta would be another color that I wouldn't want to run out of, particularly if I was a person that painted a lot of flowers, because those are really colors you can't mix they have a lot of pigment. Yeah, see what I would probably do is take a look at what you you know what your normal palette is and make de definitely the white. Yeah I mean, definitely when, de definitely if the you white. run out of white you like you know you're basically dead you can't do anything. Yeah so you want to make sure and be, and then the same thing with canvases um, you know there there may be some uh, uh, canvases that um, you wish you had, and uh, uh, you, you look around because, and, and then here's some alternate sites to buy art supplies from. Okay, um, some of you have heard of, maybe have not ever heard of, so an international company. It's in here in Houston. It's called Texas Art Supply. I don't really. Um, I used to shop there all the time. You know, when when it wasn't like two hours to get downtown. Now that the traffic and everything, right? And um, um, Texas Art Supply carries your, they're a warehouse. Well, they also own um, Mr. Art, which is a subscription warehouse where you give them so much money a year, and then, and then you get discounts, and they discount. So their paint in their warehouse from Mr. Art is less money. Um, some of you are not aware of the website of Cheap Joe's. Um, I, I know that, I think in our Facebook club we had posted a couple of Canadian sites that were good if you lived in Canada. Um, but now's the time to start exploring these alternate sites because, uh, for instance, our friend um, in um, San Antonio that just owns a local Jerry store, he's, he, you know, he's, he's got uh, paint and is willing to ship it to Jerry's Art of Rome in San Antonio, George Rodriguez. You know, he has paint and it, the, and he's willing to ship stuff, and he's got some clever things he can do to make it work. But if you're enjoying the painting, um, it's you don't want to have to. You don't want it to be like yeast or something where you can't get it, right? You, you simple things that you never thought you c would ever run out of suddenly you can't buy, right, John? That's true. I mean, in, in, in every every day things that you think, oh, they'll never run out of that. Well, they do. They do, especially right? when you know, like Ginger was saying, they um, the suppliers can't get the raw materials to make the product. Well, and look that's at what that that it's beautiful boil down to. Yeah, they couldn't make the product, and look at that nice, um, uh, uh, you know, blanket that came that was hand crocheted by Juanita that came today. This. Um, Look, it took like two weeks to get it on, uh, from three states, right? It took yeah. like two weeks. So even, you know, so you can't, um, and then also some of these online websites are a little sneaky. Ooh, so I, I'm going to go ahead and say it. So what, what their deal is, they've been doing this forever. This isn't anything new. So you've ordered, say, $75 worth of art supplies, but they're missing your palette knife. 
they'll hold up the whole stupid order for that palette knife. Oh, I've seen still it done. Doing that. I've seen it done, and and um, so um, I, you know, I'm surprised they're doing it because you think that would cost them money to do it, wouldn't you? I I, it, I would think so. At, it would, but I've seen them do it. So you're you're expecting something, and they didn't have something. So uh, make sure if they say it's out of stock on the website. Don't order it. Don't order it in the same order as you do everything else trying to save shipping if you really care about when this other stuff shows up. It's shocking, isn't it, John? I think it's very shocking. Yeah, so just, just those are just small things to keep in mind. Um, and then the other thing is, is that open the box immediately and count your inventory. Don't sit there and say, well, I've got this for later, what the heck, because... If you w open this in, um, in say, a month or two weeks, and you say, oh, I'm missing something, they... Too late. Too late. Too late. And um, it's too late. You may not get it. Oh, and I have an update, too, John. Oh, yes, you do. Remember, I was told you last Monday that the uh, Cup Coat Company made it extremely difficult to uh, find the missing item that wasn't in the gift that I sent my granddaughter, okay? Well, um, John wrote them and said, listen, nobody keeps a packing label. Cause that, that long, for that one long. thing. That long, but the time they got back to us and so forth, I mean, maybe one day they might have had it, but not. they throw that up, and so we couldn't come up with a packing label, and they said, no worries, we'll go ahead and send out the coat anyway. So I appreciate that. They did make up with their customer service, which is important because that's kind of... Anymore, um, I think all of us are sort of during this time of... Um, what would I call it? I don't want to... I don't want it, it's, 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 it's the kind of sort of manufacturing challenges all over the globe. We're kind of going with the companies with the best customer service, aren't we? Trying to, Absolutely. You know, I think we're kind of voting with our pocketbook on stuff like that. Uh, yeah. Elizabeth wants to know, what is the link for the mask? It's at our Teespring store in the Quarantine Quickies, which is probably listed in the description, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, as a matter of fact, it's the first link there. If you click on that one, you'd be able to find them. I put them in with the Quarantine Quickies. I thought that'd be a perfect place to put the mask. That's where they can be found. Yeah, n nice, right, you guys? So, um... Like I said, well, I had a lot more. There's a bunch of more paintings that I wanted to do, but... You know, when it rolls to be 4 o'clock in the morning, I think, I, I should probably go to bed. But I thought it was a good idea. And I came yeah. up with the idea of the uh, contest this afternoon for the, um... Yeah, I mean, you know, and I think that's great, because I hadn't finished the website yet, so that, that's appreciated instead of after the fact, as often happens. But it's not, not her fault, it's just, I just thought of this, and I thought it'd be great. So, rethink it. So yeah. look for more on that. That's going to be on the auction side. That's going to be fun. All right, so I've got some nice bright colors here. Yes and yes? Yeah, I'm liking that pink. That pink's pretty, and it's a little bit, it's, it's a different look, right? Than, totally um, different than the black. Than the black, yeah. The black so and the green. black's had a chance to dry. We'll just put this here. And um, uh, one of the things I want to do is that I noticed in our photo, just bring our photo out for a minute. You can see it again. That these were kind of orange. You see that? These little centers. So, a little glazing medium in this orange color and a little yellow, maybe. That'd be pretty. And let's see what we get here. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Exactly what they needed. And why are we using um, white first? Because yellow only paints over white. Yes and yes. If you want to see Everybody it. Everybody remembers that, yeah. What is the full product name for the Posca pins you use? I believe just Posca brush pins, aren't they? Yeah, they say... Um, um, there, let me put my glasses on. They're called Uni Posca... That's it. I believe you did a Posca brush pin, you would find yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah, uniposca.com, a PC.1 MB, whatever. 
they don't it's not helpful is it sorry <laughs> but they're nice they're fun Phyllis says it's nicer on the dark background. I think it is too, Phyllis. I think I like the dark background better myself. But people often wonder why we make these decisions, you know? I mean, what could be, you know, what, what would be the advantage of making a decision like that? You know, why the... Why that decision specifically, right? And um, these all have a little shading on them. But they're, but they're pretty. And then there's a, uh, I guess these ones back here were a little bit, uh, these in the back here you didn't see so much. So we'll just what is it, push those back a little bit. They were back here like that. So you Sandy saw, put up the real name of them. Posca Marker PCF350 Brush Tip. That's them. Okay. Okay, so I kind of put that those ones a little bit darker in the background, but I'm not sure that I like it, so I'll lighten them up. Okay. So that's great fun, yes and yes. So, um, uh, let's see what else could we do to this one, and we'll just about finish out. We're just a little longer show than we meant to do tonight, but Is I guess it? you guys don't mind. But we, they usually don't. But hey, Arthur's with us. Hello, Arthur. Sent a donation through PayPal. Hi, you guys. I'm glad I could be here for this live show. Thanks for your hard work. Well, thank you, Arthur. I was thinking of you the other day as so I was looking at my tractor, well, your tractor picture that you gave to me. So it's my tractor yeah. picture And I was now. looking at John's beard thinking, where's Arthur? Yeah. Because <laughs> the best trim we ever had, you know, was when Arthur did it when we were um, on my birthday cruise. Yeah. Arthur trimmed John's beard and it just, it looked really uh, sensational. Yeah. So, um, I, I like this. I think that the, um, what I would do here, and I've got that, I've got out the whole, the whole bind. Uh, not the Holbein, but the um, Salvador paints, right? So I think what I would do here is I'd just, because John, here's their dark green. And um, I'm going to mix, instead of the black, I'm going to mix some of their dark green with some magenta. All right, because that, that's a pretty dark color, right? And let's just, um, let's just trim these up a bit. You know, you can go back and when you're painting something, right, and just, Sometimes it's hard to get a good edge. You can go back with your background color and just, you know, clean up the background a little bit. And uh, that can be handy, too. Like, for instance, you can just, you know, erase what you don't want, that kind of thing. And just take a moment to do that. Just, just uh, clean it up. Yeah, just, uh, you know, this was... Uh, and the, the it is just has, when you do that, it has just a subtle hint of green in it of a dark green. It's still kind of black looking because of the magenta, but um, it's, it's a little bit, um, uh, hmm. it just, it, it's a little more finished and then just that, that dark background like that. And you can come in here like that and, um, like I say, just trim it up a bit. And you see how, you see how it sort of pops out a little bit when you do that? Just take a moment and finish something. I always tell people to write down how they did things. And I want something a little darker coming up here like that too on the face of this. Okay. This so last uh, what was a Monday show, we asked what was the hardest thing for you folks to paint. Apparently everything. <laughs> All I can say is it's been interesting. Um, I think number one is probably people. I mean, that's valid. It's hard to do people. But surprising to me was landscapes and flowers. But people was number one. But landscape and flowers were also on the list, and water. 
And clouds. Clouds was very big on the list, which I found in these are all things that we kind of specialize in and and show you how to do. So it's found fact, that kind of interesting. Yeah, we do. We we've got some great ones on that. I'm just using the back of my brush and adding a few dots for interest. See? There. I think that one's kind of cute, don't you? All right, so let's move this one out of the way, and we'll just uh, get this one uh, finished. Let's see, where did you do with my white? You put it back here, okay? Yeah, I did. Did you I... find you had to finish the white? What? I mean, to shake it? Did you have to shake it? Probably, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the, that's the... If you look at the back of the cap, unless you change your cap colors. Well, where's the white? That's black. There's silver. There's blue. It was the first group I gave you. It had the white in it. Wasn't it? Oh. I wonder what we did with it. Oh, here, there. I found it. Here, I moved what did we I do moved them. I moved them. It's okay, you guys. Don't panic. I moved them, right? So the question today is, when taking pictures, what type of device do you use? Well, needless to say, cell phone, smartphone is number one, which doesn't shock anybody, and that's why the camera industry is in a, in a tizzy. And then with that, very few people are using the interchangeable DSLR, digital SLR kind of camera. I don't think anybody's shooting film anymore. No. A couple of people are using their tablet. I it's, found that interesting, too. Yeah. What would you say the single most important mistake is people make when make using a camera? Putting their finger in front of the lens and not realizing it. That's you know, surprising, especially on a cell phone, how often that happens. But other than that, uh, probably not holding it steady. That was my single most important mistake when I was a waitress at 17 in my first restaurant, <laughs> was putting my thumb in the coffee. <laughs> it just seems like the thing you'd want to do. Yeah, you know, just grabbing a cup of coffee and not realizing I was putting my thumb in it, right? But what can I say? Yes. Eva would like to know, do you think a bluish turquoise background would pop the flower? Well, you know, Eva, I don't know. It's Who, always, who's opposite of hot pink on the old color wheel? Well, it's got to be a brighter green. You know, it's green, red and green. It's all the family. If you look yeah. at the color wheel, it's all red and green. Turquoise is orange. Turquoise is the... Op, is the, the opposite it's, of blue. Of, 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 no, that's uh, orange. Turquoise and orange are, are your complementary colors, right? Yeah. And um, so, uh, but I think what we want is a little more contrast, and I, I agree with her. So while I'm letting that dry for a minute... Let's just see what we can come up with with some greens and yellows, right? Let's see if we could... Um, that's a bright green, isn't it? Let's try some white with that. Let's Hi, everyone. I'm from Pakistan and in Beginner 2. I painted three acrylic paintings. Any tip for gesso and varnish, please? Yes, look at our, our YouTube channel. We have lots of tips for that. And, and they're all on the YouTube channel. Uh, most but, paintings come with uh, gesso. Is um, most canvases are, are already, are pre -gessoed. already gessoed. And I have a wonderful video on how to varnish. Just as ginger. But mine's has, better. John has one too on the <laughs> Tech Bear, but uh, you know, but I have varnishing mistakes people make. Now I want you to know that rather than just have a plain background, I want you to see how I'm just adding a little bit more brush movement. See, in this one, you see that. So that's a, another good trick to see how this is. Um, remember, wherever there's a light, there's a dark. Now we're making this stand out a little bit more. Yes and yes. Now this, she is. Do you look at that? This is. Um, let's take a little bit of yellow here. Now look at there. So what can you do? see? Let's see. Isn't that fun? I mean, it just, just we went lighter value on that, and that that flower's you know popping out now. Yes and yes. Just brought it back to life. You know, it did. It brought it back to life, and you know, you you can you can suggest a few 
you know, darker petals if you wanted to. Uh, something like that if you want a little more Oh, that's contrast. a good one. Uh, camera mistakes, pet peeve, wrong background for the subject. An example would be a palm leaf or a tree coming out of someone's head. That has happened in, to the best of them. Yep. You're so focused on the face, you don't look at what's coming out of their head. Now, do you, see, do you see what this did for this little painting right here, just having the lighter background, yeah? So that made a difference. Now what we need to do is have some of those petals pop. So let's get some white. And uh, in, in, in this picture, there really isn't a lot of popping going on. It's a dark no. background, and there's not a lot of popping. So what I mean by not, I don't mean that kind of popping. <laughs> Can you do that? Uh, didn't know I could do that, did you, John? My <laughs> queen, you never cease to amaze me. The we're, day we're doesn't talking go about by. The, the, the contrast popping of your of your flowers, right? So let's let's try to get something up here where the let's um, with a little popping action. Let's get a little popping action on these on this on these petals here, like you know. Let's just brighten something up here. You know, this is where layering can, in, in either something's either got to be light or dark. Okay? Okay? And, uh, let's see what happens when we do that. You can always play with a little bit of color. Yes and yes? Remember, we do have a discount code on our merchandise right now from our store there at uh, Teespring. If you forget to put it in, too late. Oh, and then we got to tell you that um, you the customer do it the service purchase. with these guys is terrific. Um, they've got uh, it's easy enough to um, to be able to get a hold of them, and um, they have a way. I think they're getting better. I think there's some, some troubles in the very beginning when they're really short staff, but I think we've gotten some good reports. If you have any questions, uh, use the contact us form on their website. And you get you get a person, and, and we had some great reports of how well they had helped people. Yeah. Okay. But you do have to apply the discount code at the time of purchase. Otherwise, and, and it's for anything on our website, which is really neat, too, you anything guys. Anything on that particular on that, right? Teespring website. On Teespring yep. website right now. It's the whole thing. So if you've been waiting to get your Quarantine Quickie uh, commemorative mug, where we're all in this together from one of the quarantine ones that we did, or if you've been waiting for any of that stuff. Now's your time. Now's the time, right? Hey, I'd like to thank Alan for a donation again. Thanks so much. Great live as always. Just ordered my Posca pens. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. It's got to be late for Al. Alan, he is in the UK. It's probably Betty time. Got to be pushing one. Yeah. Alan, so we appreciate that. See, we're just playing again with a few little lights and darks to try to pop up some colors here, right? And um, I think that's probably dry enough to do yellow now. On a little tiny brush, we can do that. So we'll pull some yellow on our picture and do that. And um, here we go. Um, they were nice to use. I like the white brush and the red one. That, they were nice to use. Uh, Apparently, Amazon has a set of ten. Why'd you only get the set of eight? Um, I give up. I right. just curious. Why did I only get the set of eight? Oh, probably because I wasn't sure if I'd like them. See, I'm your guinea pig, you guys. I liked them, so then now you can feel free to, to go for it. To, to go for it, but you know, I'm the I'm the guinea pig. Here's an interesting comment. I'm watching this on three different devices, a laptop, a TV, and a phone. It's amazing how different the colors look. Um, Thus is the truth. Yeah, it's, that's why I tell people when you're painting painting something, um, you want to go for values. I'm going to get some cad red medium out here. We haven't got that color out, but I think in this case I want it. Um, you want to go for... Um, for values of whether something's lighter or darker than something else, the, because so much of the time, uh, the, the, the things will vary from monitor to monitor. Yeah. Even the same house. Yeah, yeah, in the same house, um, you can't, um, you, you just can't um, 
you can't trust trust the colors you're necessarily seeing on your computer or your printer. So, but if you go for the values, you're doing pretty good, yeah. I would say, wouldn't you say so, John? I would say so. You know, Absolutely. Go for, go for the values. You know, I could adding a few little more darker ones here down at the bottom here. Give this a little bit more weight at the bottom. See, just using the magenta here, and. Uh, making this darker because wherever there's a light there's a dark and uh, we're just sort of coming through here and again contrast is what will always make your paintings pop okay it's always going to be contrast and so you've got to ask where do you want it that would be the question to ask is where do you want the contrast So there we go. We're just going to play a little bit more here and layer up a little bit more. I could have added some blue to this, but I think we're good here like this at the I'm bottom. I'm about to put in the link for the Posca pens brush tip. This is our affiliate link. All right. So there's a, you know, um, this is definitely a different look. Yeah, I'm just going to use up some of this paint here as long as we're playing, right? Oh, that's neat. I like this kind of luminous yellow. Wow, this this it stood out a lot more than you thought, didn't it? When you do this, let's try these colors together. Those are pretty. I'll be looking at the puzzle piece. We're still waiting for a few pieces, and we're just going to finish that puppy up because it's taking too long. We've had some trying situations with the folks that volunteered on that. Next one will be a little bit smoother because we're doing it differently. So we learned number three should be the way we're going to be doing them, which hopefully we can start by August. All I'm right, John, I think you done. can start as I finish these up. I think we can give these away. Excellent, excellent. So we got uh, two paintings and a Salvador paint kit given away today. If you have not entered, do it now because I'm going to be starting to draw. The winner winner chicken dinner. Yeah. And how many people have we got today that are looking for this? Oh, we've got quite how a few. People? How many people? Well, well, there will be two of these. We're sending out to you guys because of you were so patient. We're up to 360 at the moment, my queen. Okay. So, um... 361. i got to get my random.org running. I'm going to do these a little bit differently. Check the count one more time. 361. Yeah, we're, we're doing good. Doing good. Okay, first one we'll give away is going to be the black background or the darker background. Okay, so let me just move this off here, this one right here. Yes and yes. Let me put it on the neutral gray here so you can really see it. Okay, Looks that's nice. The first one. So that's the first one going out, and we have a winner, winner chicken dinner. I'm gonna Where did I ever came from? I'm going to try my silver, see if I can sign it with my silver pen. There you go, signed it there. What do you think, you guys? So this is going to be the dark background. Dark. Back. Ground, pink flower, and it's that person there. Red okay, good. winner of the dark. So who won? Who won the dark background, John? Carol McCoy. Oh, congratulations, Carol. 
Carol McCoy won the dark background. And now the green background will be going to another person. Okay, so the, the Carol McCoy won that. And then we still have the Posca pen set. Or the, no, that'd uh, no, be the, the um, Salvador paint Salvador set. Salvador paint set. We still have that, too. Which oh, I'm we sure. also have a downloadable. Last week, or the week before that, we gave a downloadable, and she had already won one, or she said, donate to somebody. She's a member. She, did, she said, just pay it forward. So we have a downloadable, too. Just remember wow. that. So we got two more things. i got to get this person first. 147. That's way cool, right? Yep. That's always nice to do. I'm playing a little bit more with these since I can, right? All right, so this is the green background. I like these particularly for my red slash in my picture, right? Okay, so this is... There's some wonderful colors in this. I like it. Okay. Winner of the green background. Is MJ Gillo. G I L I O. Oh, where's the, where are they from? California. So where was the other? Where were the first? Where were the people from that won these? Um, another place. Yeah, we need to know the places, John. Can't we all need to? Inquiry minds want to know where are these people from? What did they do? Well, I have Who no idea parents? what they do. Who were their parents? <laughs> What's what the social kind of security number? On? I got you. Yeah. You know. The first one was from Alabama. Alabama. Okay, so this one went to Alabama. This was going to well, it's going to Alabama. No, yeah, the dark one going to Alabama. And this is going to California. Okay, and, and this I is back definitely. Out a bit. Yeah, so you guys, there's the there the go. choices of. Um, and I'll just show you this real quick. The, you know, the little dark picture. You know, what could you do with the painting like that? And just depending on how you um, wanted to, you know, play with it. Yes and yes. Yes and yes. Um, you know how it might um, how it might uh, work out the best for you. So I mean, how, what is your what does everybody has your artistic voice? So la, that's what la, you want to be able la, to. La, la. That's my artistic voice. Not everybody is, has. Apparently, you don't have one. But there's a. <laughs> 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 oh, there's love in a room. Salvador yeah. Paints. So anyway, there's the. There we go, you guys. I think these Salvador are kind of paints fun. are going to go to Canada, which is so hard to get them in there. So good luck with this oh, one. Oh gosh, that's great. <laughs> well, you can still she can still get them. They'll send them, right? So, and Winter, what does that Salvador paint set look like? Do uh, I have that somewhere? Um, I'm not sure. It well, was at the top of your table before you started. Well, I mean, I have this, but it's the fancier set with the 25 well, the, paint tubes and the brushes and everything. Yeah, that that's one's a been cool destroyed. Set. <laughs> and remember, that's you know, would, again. Um, that's going to Joy Potter. Joy Potter. Well, Joy, that's terrific. Joy Potter in Canada, eh? Yeah, in Canada. So that's that's terrific. And um, uh, John's going to show you what the actual set looks like. I'm not like. going to. I'm going to do another drawing. Well, he's doing another drawing. Well, I'm <laughs> You're going to show, show him. Here, here's what a new set looks like. That's been slaughtered by me. Um, <laughs> You know, and you've got all Except these brushes. Except one, one tube's missing. And a pal one tube's missing. I think we used it for something else. But n There's nonetheless. There's no we in this. You took it. Sure, probably. Anyway, you get some brushes. You get this. And these are featured on Amazon right now. They're in stock. The Salvador Paint Kits. You see, we use them mostly on our YouTube shows. They are $25 normally. 25 or less. Or less. And now with the discount code, um, they're a deal. They were a deal anyway. And we liked them. So anyway, so Joy, those are going to Canada, which is kind of cool, and the international discount code on those is not. It's not that one. It's a different one. There's a different international. And it's in the description. It's in the description. Look for that I if think you live in the UK World, or somewhere else. I think it's Ginger World 15, but it's in the description. Look for it yeah, there. Use that discount code if you're out of the United States. And the giveaway for the download lesson is going to go to Australia. Oh wow, that's cool. Maria Keldner. Maria, congratulations. Lootable. 
That's a one to two credit downloadable lesson. Wow, that's like a sixty dollar value. Congratulations. Now, is there anything else, McQueen? I have to put this one in here. No, but Edison, you guys, thanks for hanging out. I think this was a fun one that John picked for um, our surprise th stuff. And um, I think we all kind of, in summary, figured out that it's a good idea to think about y your backgrounds because it changes so much what you paint. Do something little first, then, then go. All right, because this would be beautiful as a big painting. So with this... But just what it, what it, what's the story you're trying to tell? And again, thanks everybody for being here, and thank our moderators and uh, thank you, moderators. Stay safe. We love you. We love you guys, and we'll see you all next Monday night. Is that when we'll be back on? Monday, five thirty central. Five thirty central Monday. Bye, everyone. Bye.